guys, what's going on? Robinson DUP. Uh, I just wanted to weigh in on a little something that I've been noticing going on in the YouTube committee, uh, committee, community. Um, I just, I get a lot of questions on a regular basis of like what I think of this person, what I think of that person. Um, you know, this, you know, this person is such a shill or this person is only cares about selling you stuff and what do you think about this and what do you think about that and what do you think about something else. And I don't understand how a channel like yours doesn't have more subs and all that kind of stuff. Listen, I stay out of the YouTube drama. I, I really don't care to get involved. It's not my business um, to stick my nose in where I, where I see it really doesn't belong. Now, I know some of you from back in the day got to my channel uh, when I had made a video regarding another channel. Um, but I wasn't trolling them. Um, I was just literally concerned about the advice that was being given out and how irresponsible it was to say certain things. And if I see things like that, um, you know, I have no problem speaking my mind when I think you're putting your health at, at risk or health at jeopardy. Um, you know, because it irritates the crap out of me when people say stupid things like you have to sacrifice to win, so therefore you have to basically starve yourself, skip meals, uh, you know, take all these pills, these supplements wear uh, squeams, waist trainers, all things that are just horribly bad for you. And if anybody from the NPC is watching this, yes, it's incorrect. There's no science base behind any of that stuff. Um, and you're just wasting your time, your money, and jeopardizing your health in the future by doing any of these things. Um, competing is not all that serious. Sorry, guys. Um, especially in a natural bodybuilding environment or an NPC environment, the risk really isn't worth the reward, in my opinion. Um, so that that's where I stand on that. So if I see bad advice being given out, I'm going to say it. Listen, there are channels out there that are truly natural. Um, I know that for a fact, and I know there's other channels out there um, that are, aren't natural, and I'm, you know I'm okay with them admitting that they take drugs. And there are other channels out there somewhere in between that are taking drugs but won't admit it. But it's pretty obvious. Um, <clears throat> you know, so you've got a mixture of everything, and, and a lot of people out there are trying to sort through all that stuff. Now that we're through all that kind of topic, obviously there's been a lot of drama. And you know, like I left YouTube for over a year or about a year, and it was just like, okay, well these two channels stop fighting now, another channel starts, and then another channel gets involved, and another channel gets involved. It's like this constant back and forth ego trip. Um, you know, who's gonna beat up who? Who's gonna fight who? Who's gonna hurt whose wife or children or girlfriend or whatever the case may be? Who wants to shoot somebody? And you know what I'm all referring to because you're, you're currently watching all of these videos. Here's my thing. I try to, and I mean, I watch the video, but I don't get overly emotionally invested in any of it. Um, I don't know a lot of these people well enough to pick a side, want to get involved. Um, and most of these channels are all guys where they have more than enough, uh, you know, of a voice to pick their own battles and fight back if they need to. They don't even need to defend them. So in this particular instance, obviously there's something going on between Blaha and Jerry Ward and Mark Lobliner and some other things. Um, I've met Jerry Ward, I've hung out with him a couple times, both in an ANVF show in Virginia and also at FitCon back in Texas, I believe in 2014. Um, was always cool with me, I was always cool with him. We're not best friends or anything like that. But what he says he is on camera is what he is in person. I've met him, it's not like a person, you know, it's not, uh, some sort of personality for the camera. I don't know a lot of his personal life. I'm not a best friend. I don't talk with him on a regular basis. But he was cool with me. So I have no issues with him. I'm never going to have any issues with him. Um, I even made a video regarding something he actually had watched and he knew who I was when I came up when I barely had, you know, a thousand subs. And, you know, we talked and everything was cool and we shook hands. There was, there was no beef drama or anything like that. He didn't get in my face and get in his face. But I wasn't really saying anything nasty about him to begin with. Um, you know, I, I never had an issue. I, I've hung out with Mark Lobliner several times um, because he is part of the ANBF as the vice president. Uh, I've been at several shows with him where he's been a judge and I've been next to him and hung out with him. I've gone to some uh, workout events, things like that. Never had an issue with the guy. Exactly the, the high octane, uh, you know, personality that he is on camera with the wise cracks and all the stuff that he does. It's the same thing he does in person. Um, even when he's not around a bunch of people, it's just that's his personality. If you think he's a shill or a supplement pusher, that's your matter of personal opinion. Um, anytime I've sat next to him, he always tells me the honest truth, like, listen, there's not a supplement out there that's going to replace you not doing the hard work, and you can't 
outrun a bad diet. So it, it, it is what it is. Um, he's never promoted drug, drug use. Um, and his whole video that he recently put about, about TRT, or his hormone replacement therapy, I knew about years ago because he was honest about that back then. And he never claimed to be natty to begin with. Um, he told me about how his whole, he was hardcore natty and he basically dieted himself into a bad situation where he, everything kind of just shut down. So, uh, who else have I met? I mean, I met Chris Jones twice. The first time I met him was at FitCon uh, 2014 down in Texas. Uh, I didn't really get a chance to talk to him. There were too many people around. And something, I don't know, I, mean, I, was just, I, didn't, I didn't get a great uh, vibe from him the first time. I, but I think he is, as much as he um, shows like he's a personality on camera, he is a little bit shy, I think. Um, and that still does come across every now and again. But then I met him again recently, and you saw me in the background of one of his videos um, uh, <clears throat> when he was at the Pure Focus Gym event where he came up uh, for an ANBF show and he actually judged. You know, I got to talk to him for a little bit. He was a cool guy, showed me a lot of respect, um, showed a lot of uh, support for the natural bodybuilding world. And, um, you know, I, I'm perfectly cool with him, and I'm probably going to run into him. Oh, let me tell this now. Uh, I'll be at the Arnold uh, on Saturday. Now, I'm not at a booth or anything. I'm just going to be walking the expo with one of my friends. Uh, I'm literally coming in, like, Friday, and then, you know, Saturday I'll be around all day, and then Sunday I'm leaving, just so everyone knows. But the other thing that I'm just seeing with um, a lot of you fans out there, the people who watch YouTube, um, you tend to be very polarized to specific individuals to the point where it's, like, almost a cult. Or I don't know if it's just a bunch of people trolling or, or whatever the case may be, but you get so wrapped around like a specific person, you're obsessed with them. And even New Jersey where I live, like I'll walk into a, a random gym and I'll see people wearing either, uh, I've seen Masthetic shirts, I've seen uh, Christian Guzman's, uh, Guzman as Logical Bro say, um, you know, Alpha Elite, uh, who else have I seen? You know, I, I've seen Johnny Candido shirts, I've seen everything, um, just in like random gyms, I'm like wow. And, you know, it's good to have people to look up to. Um, it's good to have dreams and aspirations and, you know, maybe look up to some of these guys and girls as to what they've done. You know, I was actually having a conversation uh, a couple days ago with my dad saying, you know, I wish at 21, 22, when I had gotten out of college, um, I had had the aspirations or understanding of all this social media stuff and how I could have leveraged it and turned it into potentially like some sort of business venture. I would have loved to own you know, or created several gyms, even if it was like a retro fitness franchise and own several of them and run them, um, and even had the knowledge or the, the drive to create something like my own supplement line or, which were, wasn't big back then. I mean, supplements weren't, our, weren't uh, what they were back then as they are now. I mean, like protein shakes all sucked and there's only a couple brands that you could buy. Creatine was creatine and there wasn't all these, you know, pre-workouts and BCAAs and 97 different varieties of flavors, okay? It, it, it didn't exist back then. So, you know, I don't hate or I'm not jealous of anyone that's out there. Um, if I don't like a particular person or I don't like a particular channel or I don't like the message they're sending um, or I feel like they're just trying to constantly push their stuff on me all the time, then I just don't watch them. It's really easy. Um, if you really hate somebody that much or dislike somebody that much, the easiest way to not help them is to not watch their videos. I've said this before. Don't buy anything from them. Don't use their discount codes. You Then you financially take money out of their pocket. It's, it's a simple formula, but instead of doing that, you continue to watch their videos and write comments and buy their stuff and use their codes. So you're financially helping the people that you're criticizing. Like it makes no sense. Uh, it, it, it's just like an ongoing thing. And listen, in the fitness industry, in any industry for that matter, you're constantly being sold. I mean, come on guys. If you download an app on your phone and it's free, right? You have to, like every time you go to do something on that app, whether it's like Instagram or, you know, some sort of video editing or, you know, some game or something, you're constantly seeing ads pop up all over the place. I mean, throw, go through your Instagram feed, you'll see sponsored ads everywhere. You go on YouTube, YouTube, whether you're watching a monetized channel or not, there's ads everywhere. You know, if you're on a Yahoo or Google search engine, type something in and then go back to like your other search engine or, or, or screen, and whatever website you were just on, they're showing you an advertisement for that website you just visited. You're constantly being inundated with buy, 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 buy. And you're, you're, you're the first ones to rush to go buy the, the iPhone. You're the first ones to go buy the new hottest supplement, which you don't even know what's in it half the time. But meanwhile, you're blaming you know, some person who 
has vlogged their entire life for you, is letting you know everything about them and what they're doing. They're basically sharing free information about training programs. Some are even giving away free training programs um, to, to model after it. And you're sitting there going, shill. You don't have to pay to watch the video, which is the best part, okay? You log into YouTube, they don't charge you to watch the video. The way that YouTuber gets paid is every time you watch it, if you sit through a 10 second ad, which you can skip most of them within five to six seconds, that's how they're making their income off of you. But they're not specifically charging you anything. And if they decide that they want to create a gym or they decide that they want to create a supplement line or they decide that they want to create a power line, the only way they're going to make money off of that is if you decide to buy into it. If you decide not to buy into it, all their other business ventures don't matter. Like, so let's say Christian Guzman has now created Alpha Lee. If everybody simultaneously decided, or only a handful of people, uh, everybody simultaneously decided, we are not buying Alpha Lee apparel. Alpha Lee doesn't exist anymore. Okay, same as if everybody decided to stop buying Nike or Under Armour or Adidas. If everybody decided to stop buying, those businesses couldn't thrive, they couldn't exist, there wouldn't be enough revenue to do what they do and, and stay afloat. So I don't understand like why everybody's got to get into that whole conversation, it absolutely makes no sense to me. Here's the other thing that I don't understand. If two people truly don't like one another, I don't know what the constant like back and forth needs to be. So. Obviously, we know like Vegan Gains is out there, right? And we, we know that Jason Blaha is out there and, and we know there are other trolls, I'm sure, coming along the way or you know, certain people just don't like one another. How about instead of sitting there going back and forth, which all of you people get so invested in, which is hilarious to me, you don't know these people from a hole in the wall, but yet you're like so emotionally invested. And here's my concern. If you're that emotionally invested about between two parties that you really don't know, my worry is this, that your life is that boring. I don't have time to pick a side. I've got other things to do. I have a job, I have a house, I have a mortgage to pay, I'm married, I have a kid on the way. I've got other things to, to, to concern myself with. I don't have time to sit there and go, well, F this guy or F that guy or I want to meet you in a cage or I'm going to do this or I'm going to shoot you or I'm going to file a lawsuit. I don't have time. It, 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 just makes no sense to me. Um, I barely have time to even put any video up for anybody to watch if anybody even cares to watch it. Um, and I'm definitely not going to hate on somebody who has a more popular channel than me um, who takes the time to buy you know expensive cameras with different lenses like you know like Matty Fusaro or Max Tuning or Chelsea Lifts or uh, Christian Guzman or any of these people that or Nick Wright or whoever it is that spends a ton of money on camera and lenses to invest in the channel to help continue it to grow and spend hours upon hours on you know editing and doing all this cool stuff where I take about, I don't know, five minutes to make a video, shoot it on my S5, have an intro that I had made for me for like five bucks that I've been holding on to forever um, and I do about, ooh, I don't know, about a minute worth of editing on a very cheap software Windows Media platform because I don't have the time nor do I want to um, put that kind of time in. I'm just going to be blatantly honest. I like just shooting it, uploading it, and moving on. I don't have time for all of that. Um, and it's like with all the other stuff that's going on in the community, you want people to just talk about bicep curls, tricep extensions, and bench press and squats. That gets really, really boring. Um, so people have to vlog. People have to do other things to keep you entertained. So I don't, I don't understand like this weird mentality of what goes on on YouTube at all. Like none of you people make any sense. I think it's just like a, a reality TV series without watching TV. You're just watching it on your computer or your cell phone. So anyway, guys, that's where I stand on all this. So please stop asking me to get involved in drama that I just don't care about. I am jealous of no one. I hate on no one. I actually have learned a lot from a lot of different channels, both on the workout end and just different suggestions on how to run a channel or my social media. And, and that's just where I stand, guys. All right, I'll talk to you later.